This video is going to discuss the steps I did to build this really cool HO scale freight house. I had space along the siding track that was small, but big enough to fit some kind of structure. I decided a freight house was appropriate because of the siding track and the road passing under the tracks. It's small, something that you would see in the 1950s to 1960s era that we're building. I measured the space I had and drew up a floor plan and elevation so that I had the basics of how I would lay it out. It would mostly be scratch built except for the windows, figures, and freight. The floor plan also helped to plan for the materials that I would need. I would be primarily building it out of HO scale lumber and 2x8s would look good and be easy to work with. I planned for it to be a wooden structure with limited interior so no insulation or interior wall material was going to be needed. I did want a loft. The basement would serve as a ground entrance with a stairway leading up to the main floor of the freight house. So now I painted what is going to be the floor of the warehouse, the same color as the platform. It's going to be concrete color. Nice gray. This is going to be the basement of the warehouse. Basically, it's just a box made out of balsa. There's a stairwell that goes from the entrance on the ground floor up to the warehouse level. It's the other side of it. Looking down the stairs. So it's going to sit in place right here like that. There's going to be a couple doors. This one, I've already cut out the door part because it's going to be open on the model. Probably go somewhere like around here. This is what it looks like when it's a closed door. And it's going to have to go right here. I found an assortment of doors and windows by Titchy Train Group on eBay and found what I wanted. Knowing the size of these, I could build the frame walls around them. They don't match the plans that I drew up originally, but it was easy to improvise. I framed the walls with scale 2x8s 24 inches on center and clad with 2x8s to form the outside wall. Again, there wouldn't be an interior wall covering to preserve the framing detail. The roof was also formed with 2x8 joists against a 6x12 beam. The loft is also supported by a 6x12 beam going the width of the freight house. I used the plans as a template on where the framing lumber would go and also drew templates for the stairs and roof overhang supports. I used 1 16th inch balsa for the roof glued over the framing. I'd seen scale corrugated metal made from aluminum foil and a special tool by Brunel Hobbies in Australia. I cut individual pieces of aluminum foil used the tool and then trimmed each piece and carefully glued it on the balsa wood. The foil is really fragile so you have to be careful when you use it and especially after you've glued it down because it's easy to dent. Weathering on the model was done with weathering pastels done in layers and sprayed with matte sealer between layers. This also includes the metal roof. For the lighting I installed two outdoor lights that I found on eBay and two interior LED lights, one for the basement and one for the freight house interior. I made the decals which turned out really well and were easy to do. I designed the signs on Adobe Illustrator and then pr printed them on decal paper with my inkjet printer. After you print them, you have to remember to seal them with either matte spray or gloss spray. If you don't, the ink will run. After that, just cut them down to size and treat them as you would any decal. So here's the finished freight house. See the concrete ramp? We actually formed that out of plaster and painted it gray. It's a busy little place. A lot of packages, boxes, barrels, a couple guys working. The guy inside the door. There's more freight in there. Corrugated tin roof turned out really, really good. Each one of those little squares had to be cut by hand and then formed with a special tool that I got from Australia. We built the dirt ramp up to the loading dock.
I just have to finish this road. It needs a little bit more work on it. And um, there's the back side of it. We'll put a little bit more vegetation in on this side. I don't know if you can see through that window or not, but you can see the stairs, hopefully. Yeah, you can kind of see that. That's pretty cool, huh? Boxcar will fit up in here pretty good. turned out really kind of cool. I'm pretty happy with it. I don't know that I would do anything different with it. Thanks for watching and if you like this please subscribe.